Welcome back to another episode of Overrated Everything. Uh, if you're new to the show, um, this is the podcast where we get a guest on each week to discuss a subject that they feel is overrated. Yeah. Sometimes we agree. A lot Sometimes of the times, we don't agree. A lot of the times we disagree. Yeah. But we have quickly discovered that it is the podcast where your favourite actors, singers, uh, celebrities, whatever, love to moan and we moan with them. We all love a moan. Love it. We Can't all love it. a moan. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this podcast. People come on, have a little bit of a moan and have some nice funny moments and everybody gets a nice little podcast. Exactly. And if you do love what we do, um, you can sign up to our Patreon, which is www.patreon.com forward slash overrated everything. That just helps us secure better guests and just have an all round neater podcast. Yep. Yeah, we've got podcasts coming. Enjoy. Sticky down. Oh, can you believe us when I told my mates that I was going on a podcast? I said, What are you going on, Joe Rogan? <laughs> 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 I said no, no. actually mate, I'm not going on Joe Rogan. Not Joe Rogan. Okay, no, Joe Rogan, never quite, heard of him. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so thank you, standard, for, thank you for coming anyway no, mate. Thank you for having me. Are we on now? We're on, we're on. Oh, we're I didn't mean it Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come, come on any time Joe. Keep him, fuck him. It's just sat here slagging people Joe Rogan who? Thumbs up next time though, isn't it? Yeah, buzzing, cheers for coming on mate. I was, um. so like me and Andy, between us we sort of like, think of the guests who we really want on and who we know and who we don't blah 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 and then when Andy as I said he'd obviously spoken to you and he said um, that you was coming on I was buzzing because like I said the first thing I said to you when you walked in was the, the teacher you, yeah. oh mate it was so good yeah. thank you man. Yeah, it, was it, was, it, it was one of them because a um, <clears throat> little bit of backstory like you'd met, we'd done a voice job years ago haven't we'd we done together a voice job yeah um, what was that probably about three what was it pizza something did you say we were in lockdown wasn't it it was yeah. wasn't for pizza but no, it was like teachers. It was, four it was the teachers. Oh yeah, it was. It was, like, it was the teaching like, one, wasn't it? Getting to teaching. Yeah, so it wasn't pizza, but it was. Yeah, a really it was basically. Line, wasn't it? Yeah, so I was like a teacher running. We were Let's all go on for a run. a run, and then we'll reward ourselves with pizza. Yeah, and it was Don't something know. to do with getting into teaching. For what? It was to adver- it was to advertise like come and be a teacher. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, uh, right. I thought he was on about it was just advertising pizza. No, like, no, what, no, just no. That was kind of the backstory story of the ad, and then yeah, like you'd message me and you, and then obviously. Years late, well, yeah, yeah. about a month ago or summer, I was literally sat, Emily had put the, my wife had put the, the teacher on, and I was kind of sat watching it, and I was like, I know his face, and then it was the thing, yeah, and then, I don't know, I was on the Instagram, and then it, I saw you, and I was like, bloody hell, and I had a message, yeah. and I was like, mate, Jesus, man, yeah, good, good, good gig, man, that was mate, class, man. It, what, and you know what, we were filmed in Hungary, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, I saw that, actually, because I'm one of them that watched some of it. And then I like do do a little bit of research yeah. on it. But I, as soon as I found that out, because I think I'd watched the first episode, then did a little bit of digging as you do. And then like as soon as I see that it was Red Deer, I was like, it put me off a bit. So I'm looking for plug sockets. And, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, seeing yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. filmed and that, so in you can see like a European Budapest. Budapest yeah, yeah. It's nice mate, what a place that is. How old was you when man. you went out there? Beautiful, oh, about nineteen, I think. Nice. Oh, so time, did you go, did you have? Things like we we're in the middle of lockdown. Oh, so oh was you it? Couldn't, you, you couldn't. Uh, Really strict. You couldn't go in any baths or all like that. They've got like beautiful outdoors. Yeah, they've got yeah, like the guys. I've been filming over there. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't couldn't do any of that, and you had to be um, you had to be in your house for six o'clock. Really? Oh, they After were like six o'clock. You couldn't leave. You couldn't leave. Oh, like, good. What's wrong with that? We were filming, filming. I had to finish before then, kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay. It might, it might have been a bit later than six o'clock. It might have been like I'll, eight o'clock or something. Oh, mate, you need to go back because like yeah, it's it's sick. I was so over back. there for four months and I was hardly in. Really? Yeah. I was one end where I'd do a day. I was in for a day and then I'd have a week off. Then I'd be in for two days. I'd have another ten days yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But like they said, oh, we can fly you home or we can keep you here. I was eighteen yeah, year old. There, I'd just yeah, done yeah. a commercial for Coca Cola and got paid shit ton of money for it. I was like, I'm staying out here and just living like a fucking king. Yeah, some tobacco, but what a place. They have Do a load of, um, to my eyeballs. Ruin bars, don't they? Yeah. Because I remember going there and someone was going, Oh, have you been to any ruin bars? And I was like, What are them? Well, so <clears> basically, <throat> like, there's some like mad sort of law there where, like, or something where you can, you, you know, like here, you have to have like a licensed premise to sell alcohol and stuff. Yeah. I don't think you do there. So, like, people will set up like bars and pubs, like, in alleyways or in like old um, warehouses. Me and my mate went to one. Um, it was one of the like the AD's son, and he was like, "Oh, my son's um here for the week. Like, w- will you go out with him? He's heard about this dance night on on a, on a boat. 
So obviously you've got the big Danube Danube River, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's the one that separates Buda and Pesach. Yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah, it was like one. basically this old Lithuanian warship that must have been like Soviet area kind of Cold War boat. Yeah. And um, they basically converted it into a club. <laughs> so like you you queue in outside, obviously on the dock, and then you go in, you, you, then you're on the boat. Sick. But it was mad because it was like, I think we were shooting there in like October, November. So mm. it was cold. The water was choppy. So like we're all there oh, in this like proper choppy. dark <laughs> nightclub music going off. Are you all inside that. the boat and or are you on the boat? Inside like, the boat, what? like in the like thing, yeah. At, like like you're in a club and you forget that you're on a boat yeah, and you're yeah. in a club and then all of a sudden the boat oh, would bob. Yeah. No, but the boat would bob a little bit. So everyone oh, in the club would go, we'll be like, oh. a little bit to the right, <laughs> a little bit to the left. But it was crazy That's and it's so cheap there. My mate came over with um, two bottles of champagne and I was like, what are you, what are you doing? Two, what are you, like, calm down, mate. And he went, yeah, yeah. £12 each. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How long was you over there filming for? Over oh, there for four weeks. Oh, so it's quite quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel 5, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, man, for about four or five weeks max, man. She's mint Sheridan Smith as well, isn't she? Yeah, she's lovely. Top man. class. Yeah, she's, she's brilliant. She's a good laugh, isn't she? Good actress, man. Yeah, oh, mate, she's yeah, sick. She's mental. from near me. She's from Scunny. Is she? Is she? Yeah, I think she's oh, from just outside what, Scunny. What yeah. county is that? Uh, Lincoln, Lincolnshire. New York, she may have no, North East Lincolnshire, is yeah. It, yeah. I think she's from in between, like, um, Doncaster and Scunny. Yeah, so yeah, it's sort of like Galway on, I think. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's sick. Yeah, she's class, man. And yeah. Then, and like, as soon as I was, as like, as I met her as well, it were like, straight out of vibe vision, you know what I mean? It's no pressure, yeah. it's nah, just nah, like... no pressure, man. We went and like, chilled by ourselves for a bit to get a bit of like, just chemistry going. Cool, nice. yeah, yeah. Absolute top class, man. So, uh, what was your, 21, when, uh, 20 when you made that, or 19? About 19. 19. That's so yeah, sick yeah, as well, man. like from someone who's like, so young to go and learn so much from someone like her as well. Oh, yeah, genius, But not man. only for work, but for like on a personal bit level as well, because like, she's been through some shit as well, hasn't she? So, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, tabloids absolutely tore it to pieces, Kate, man, Kate after her dad died. I don't know too much about it. Yeah. Mm, no. you know I mean, because I'm not, I'm not too much into it and that, but I remember her saying like, they were just absolutely yeah, the Kena, everything disgusting with her, man. It's, yeah. It's, it's so you can learn a lot from that, like, you yeah. can learn a lot from people like that, because some of the people that we've worked with, like, not only on a on a on a professional level, but like on, on a personal, personal level, level, you can learn yeah. so much from them. Can't I you? think that's yeah. where you learn more in in this game. Do you know what I mean? You can pick up like bits of like you know the acting kind of methods and it's all what that. What they but, do like, off, off, yeah. off off camera, innit? Like once the, I suppose you can learn from anyone by watching films and, and TV shows and that. When it's a, when they say cut, yeah, you know, they do what after or how to prepare or how to. You know what I mean? Mm wind down and that's what you learn from isn't it? yeah was there anything she did that was obvious like preparation or was she just kind of like quite just because how I like to work is I'm I just mess around mess around mess around and then as soon well, yeah. as they say go it's that's when it's like but I've worked with actors who have, actors who have got like obvious preparation you know what it is yeah I'm very much like read my read my sides day before and, and, yeah. and, and that morning do you know what I mean so you know it's fresh yes. yeah half, yeah probably half being a little lazy shit as well but back in <laughs> yeah, the day when I was younger do you know what I mean yeah but you keep but, it raw like <clears> that though yeah 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 I think so I think like if I'm if I'm learning my lines like three days before yeah obviously you can go in there knowing that you know them but also like you need to know that you've never said them lines before and stuff like yeah, that yeah you know yeah I mean? Which are, like, it's interesting you say it like that but because you get the script so early on anyway so it's like so you read the script early mm. and then you read it again and then you read it in the read through so by the time it actually comes to filming it, you've read it like four or five times, yeah. and then yeah. and then you do it. Well, I do, I flick through just my bits another couple of times, and then so then when it comes to I read my script just the night before in the hotel, yeah. and then read it in makeup, and then like you say, I I've never thought of it like that, but you need to make it sound like you've never said it before. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of I'll, I'll usually like read my script a bit like uh, before I get the role, mm. and then read it at the read through, and then read it another time after that, mm. and then that's it. Yeah. Unless I get like halfway through, like a six week shoot or something, and I'm forgetting bits and bats, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll pick it up yeah. Again. But other than that, I'm learning my lines like the night before and then the morning of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not being, not rushing, do you know what I mean? Or being unprepared or all like that, but just that's well, how she works as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've never actually worked with another actress that does it, does it like that, or actor that does that. So that were interesting to see, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, right now, no, don't worry, we'll just learn them now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah learn them, because also as well, I think like you can um, you can learn them in your head and then you can think about the lines that the people opposite you, uh, the dialogue for the other actor opposite you, but you don't know whether they're going to change something, you don't know how yeah. they're going to say it, so it's like, I always think you can know your lines, but you don't really know what's going on until 
you know what the other act is going to do. Do you mm, know what I mean? Until yeah. you can see that their, their reactions and what they're bringing to it as well. It's kind of like, yeah, it's... It's the freshness that brings, like, that reality to it, isn't it? Like, yeah. not knowing, like, if someone just pulls a, a spanner out of work, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Something funky that they haven't like thrown in before the last couple of takes. Yeah, yeah. And you see it on your face that you know what I mean. Well, that's it, and that's how like Shane Meadows likes to work, and like particularly Stephen Graham. He's like, you can do a you can do a take, a take, then all of a sudden he'll just fucking grab you around the throat and throw you against the wall, and mm. it's like no one knew that he was going to do that. I think that's just because you were an annoying little shit. That's because <laughs> I was annoying little shit. But no, it's um stuff like that keeps it real, keeps it raw, and it kind of keeps it sort of. Keeps you on your toes as an actor as well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, Just, this is definitely the most we've ever spoken about acting. <clears throat> yeah, is it? it's nice. Yeah, because yeah. we don't normally think it's We don't normally nice. talk about yeah. work because it's, so, it's like talking shop, isn't it? It's like yeah, <laughs> people who work at, I don't know, at, at Asda or Aldi or whatever, they don't want to go to the pub and talk yeah, about yeah. working, do they? I, bet they do. I mean, I but used to me, work at Asda yeah. many moons ago and you'd go to the pub and talk about work. Would you? Oh, that delivery today. Oh. <laughs> I don't have that sort of outlet. Like, obviously, you've you might know a couple more actors than me, but back at home I've only really got I've got Natalie Gavin. Do you know Natalie yeah, Gavin? Yeah, yeah. And Sean Thomas. They're the only like actors that I know really from back at home. And then I don't really see them all the time, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. when I'm like out and about knocking about, I never really talk about work. Do you think that's a good thing though? Do you think because you have yeah. like two different sides of yourself almost? Yeah, yeah. Also like you know what you're gonna like you know if you fail. You, this is where you are, do you know what I mean? What do you mean if you fail? Do you mean if you just don't get like any... Like, if acting doesn't work out, do you know what I mean? You're going to be doing what all your mates are doing, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you've still got that kind of... It just keeps you in check, man, do you know what I mean? Keeps you grounded like, as well, because yeah, I always yeah, find yeah. that, like... I was... I, I, I'm not a different person, because I, I'd, I'd never <coughs> take anything that's not me to a film set or whatever, but kind of the lifestyle that I live at home. Like yesterday, Man New Liverpool, I was in the pub with all my mates. Didn't talk about my work once. No, no, you know what I mean? You just yeah. talk about any other shit. Well, that's probably because I mean? you've got no one to bounce off it with, isn't it? Yeah, you that's know what I mean? it. It's yeah. not, I like that because like, we've done that as well and it sounds like you've done the same thing. Like Obviously, a lot of actors move to London or, or you know, if the lead base, whatever, might move to like Manchester to kind of be in the scene a bit more. But like, by the sounds of it, we've all sort of stayed... Stay Back away home. from it because that seems bullshit, mate. Yeah, it? I mean talk? it's it's you know each to their own. You know some people do that and 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 enjoy a, a good career and that. But like like you were saying there, I like that kind of aspect of that's the work kind of side of your life. And then same like I'll go home and I've got one mate who is an actor, but like the rest of my mates aren't. Mm. And it's just nice to just be in the real world quote yeah. do you know what I mean it's quote, nice quote, to be quote, around quote. creative people I think that, yeah. that keeps you sharp as well like if you're surrounding yourself by actors all day and like if you're in like London or you're not, you're not in real world are you man and then when you've got to come and do it you've got to act like a real person yeah, I mean, it's harder, yeah. For me, I can pull it out of people that I know from back at home. Do you yeah, know from I mean? the people that you spend into, like yeah, every day yeah, with. Yeah, that, that I see. Yeah, o- o- like observing real people as well, like you know what I mean, like sitting and watching real people, how their lives are and how the yeah, yeah. And what a place part, Halifax man. is to do, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Halifax. Well, that's why I, I used to work in. Um, I, 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 obviously been a jobbing actor since I was fifteen. You have times where you're not acting and stuff, and like. I've worked in pubs, mate, and for that reason, like more more than it, I love working in pubs because I love being yeah, in pubs. It's mean. Yeah, but oh, yeah. Mate, have you ever done any bar work, mate? Oh. Any other work, but you meet so many characters. So pubs good. are where people go and just like relax their inhibitions, don't they? So yeah. you're not meeting, you know, yeah, performing yeah. whatever. You know, you could be a businessman and you go in the pub and you have a nice yeah. quiet pint or whatever. Or He's got his you tie know, off. Yeah, yeah, He's just chilling. Do you know what I mean? And. I, I love that as a kind of, like, I know it sounds quite wanky, but, like, as a character. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're looking at people going, yeah, yeah I like that. I learn I like a lot that. from I might, it, you know, I might nick that. Yeah. Talking of learning, talking of, um, you know, picking things off. <laughs> so, tell us about your uh, overrated subject. Well, you know what? When, when we were just speaking, then I think... I think Manchester's overrated and I think London's overrated. Turn, the, fu- turn the cameras on. Ah, there we, we go. I agree with you with London. You know them boxing gloves that we was on back then? <laughs> we should get them. Let's get, yeah, this is a nice... My money's on him, mate. I didn't choose something else. You know, but I was just no, thinking fine. then, we'll like, when I was speaking, like, everyone's always told, well, everyone used to always say, like, oh, London's where it works, like, London's where it works, like, this, yeah. like, other, but it's not, man. Like, with the day and age that we're living <clears> in, like, you can... Like I think I'm a good example of it not, and we're all good yeah, examples. Yeah, we haven't yeah, moved out, have we? You know no. what I mean? Of, of it not being like the place to be. I think it can you know it I mean? can help you in certain sort of things. So time think and money. I think now it, it doesn't though. Like I so when uh, I was twenty one, 
um, me and my girlfriend, now wife, um, we moved down to London. My wife's a nurse, mm. um, like a paediatric nurse. So basically, when she graduated uni, there wasn't uh, a lot of opportunities in the north. I think there was some in Liverpool. Serious? Um, yeah, they just because because her kind of job because she's like specific to just children. Obviously, there's not as many jobs as just like a general nurse. Mm. Um, so there was jobs in a hospital in London. So we moved down there because I was like. Well, yeah, London's the place to be, right? For right. Exactly like you said. Yeah. yeah, you know. And we moved down there and <sighs> there was probably more opportunities in the sense of like, there's more, like you said, there's more actors there. So, mm. you know, such and such will be having a night out or whatever. Or whatever. The, the first to, time I met Sheridan. Where there's a lot of... Yeah, yeah. The first time I met Sheridan, that was like, it wasn't when I was living there. It was about a year or two before. And that was a random one. I was out with a mate of mine, a producer slash actor mate of mine. And he was like, oh, I'm going to a birthday party tonight. Do you fancy it? It's one of my mates. And I was like, yeah, as long as they don't mind me coming. Mm. And he was like, no, nah, no, nah, she's dead sound. Sheridan Smith. Should. And I was like, what? Sheridan but then I ended up at a party and met, do you know what I mean? So there's more opportunities of that. That's never going to happen in, in no, never, never, no. Bradford or, or wherever. Grimsby, mate. No. no, but do you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but then, yeah, like you say, it's two hours on a train, isn't it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? And the money that, and well, I mean, that this is pre-COVID, isn't it? Getting the trains down to London for meetings nowadays itself takes, but... You don't save money living there because the rent and the, you the spend money so much money on spend rent and, and ta- like you spend like you said you was in Budapest or uh, did you film any in the UK as well? No, none of it. So it was all there. Yeah. That's what I mean. Say if if you get a job that you're filming for seven months and you're paying rent in London hmm. and the shoot is in Huddersfield, you're you subletting it somewhere. You, you right? know what I mean? It's just, it's what you're wasting money, and if you can't sublet it out, then I just think and then also with London like. Because you mentioned just before you said about like going out and stuff, so you're yeah. not really a massive fan of going out. Like in go, if you if you're in London, there's nothing else really to do other than yeah. just go Big out. Drinking and, culture, but it's it? massive yeah. drinking culture. Yeah. So it's like I kind of get the city living. If, uh, could, where was you born? Was you born? Oh, born Bradford. Bradford born in Bradford. Family, yeah, 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 but that's a city. Yeah, yeah. But like I think that's a different kind of city when you compare it to London. Yeah. Leeds, Manchester, yeah. Birmingham. Like they're they're like proper like. Business centres. It's just like rat race, yeah. isn't it, all the yeah. time? Busy. Yeah. 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 I yeah, just yeah, think, yeah, I just think that sort of... I, I'm with you on that. I don't really like city living. I'm just not really... I think someone... Who was it? It was Georgia May Foot. She did city living She on said living yeah. in cities that... Um, overrated. Was overrated, yeah. So I kind of get that. Mm. Um, the work will come to you, man. I think if it's for you, it's not going to pass you by, is it? That's what I always say, like, yeah, about a part and, like, if I get down to the last two on a... On an audition, and that if it's if it's not for me, it won't pass me by. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And I think to get a two hour train out of London to meet a casting director is not a difficult. It's not, is it? Thing no. to do, no, 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 no. Not when you've got an hour fair. Keep telling everyone to get a sixteen to twenty five rail card, man. <laughs> no one listens days. to me, man. <laughs> I miss them yeah, days. Man. We don't have that anymore, mate. <laughs> I, remember Sorry, man. Yeah. I remember having me sixteen to twenty five rail card, right? <laughs> and it was just it was amazing because you had cheap trains, and then. I was about 28, 29, and someone said, oh, they're doing um, 20, 28, 30. 25 to 30 rail cards. It's not as much discount, but it's a bit bit discount. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, sweet. So I went out, I bought this rail card. I was 29. I was like, right, I'm going to get this rail card, get cheap. I used it once, maybe twice, and then I don't know if you've heard of this COVID thing. Never heard That of. happened. <laughs> and <laughs> I thought you meant like it was a COVID thing. No. Or... <laughs> and then obviously, like, freaking obsolete, it? I would got it yeah oh, i'm in my last year now of using my rail card i think it runs out in like may or something and then i'm yeah that's it i'm screwed that's it. yeah then i'm full I'll price into it man yeah it is scary isn't it, that but yeah, yeah like uh self tapes and stuff i've been doing self tapes since since i was about like 10 year old man yeah i was gonna that was something else i wanted to ask you as well how old was you when you started acting i was eight eight year old eight year oh, old man, man. Yeah, yeah what when you got your yeah. first sort of role yeah yeah i got street cast in the film and Street cast. Yeah, yeah, wow. just like you does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was it Des Hamilton as well? Yeah, Hamilton, yeah. Was oh, it? Well. What was that for? Tyrannosaur. Shit, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, shit, of course. Yeah, so Paddy Considine directed that. Paddy Considine directed it, yeah, and like, he told me not to go to, not to go and do any drama school or all like that, do you know what I mean? And I just thought, I'm going to stick with that and I never did it. Yeah. Always just tried to get like little jobs here and there, like, yeah. doing auditions and like travelling down to London or <laughs> banging a little tape on and that and... I think it shows, I think, like you say... I never knew that, mate, that's interesting. Drama schools and stuff do have the place and things like that, but I do think, like, because obviously, like, sort of similar thing with the three of us is we've come through that kind of more naturalistic kind of, you know, with Tyrannosaurus, this is England and stuff like that. 
that's a, a specific kind, isn't it? A specific type of sort of acting, but I think yeah, it's, 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 well, it's, it's nice. Really I think he's probably got his benefits. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I can't. I, like, I struggle to cry. Yeah, you know what I mean yeah, that's a yeah, big yeah. thing for an actor. You've got to be able to do that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I, also, I always sometimes think maybe, maybe in a couple of years, if I wanted to go study something, you know what I mean, or just go to a drama teacher and just I don't know, do something like that. But I've always been scared it's going to take the rawness away from my from what I do. Yeah, I that's what yeah, yeah. I pride the myself thing. on stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it was similar for me because I think Des and Shane and everyone said to me like, drama school there's not really much more that can teach. Yeah, they can teach you techniques and stuff, but like, you just need to put like yourself into everything you do do you know what I mean every part yeah. that you do every part that you play you need to make it a part of your life as well do you know put what, everything that you've been through into it yeah. that's what I find but um, have you met have you done any auditions for Des as an adult yeah and what do you the difference in that like he's, he's off his he's off his head he's I, a nutter I haven't done one for a while I did one I did I, I put a tape I did a zoom call for one like a couple no, like last year, but every time I've every other time I've got to see him, I've been absolutely bricking it, man. Yeah, absolutely yeah. bricking it, man. Because he's like, he's like, he's, can I know he'll just tell you, he'll just be like, what, what's, what's that, man? Do you know yeah. what I mean? What's that? He'll stop you halfway like, through and go, that was shit. Do that. What do you mean and that? And he's like, nah, fucking. He's like, come on, man, fucking come on and that. And I'm like, all right, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a confidence player, man. You've got to stroke, yeah, you've got yeah. to stroke my ego a bit. on. you got to be nice. You got to be nice to me, man, and I'll do it. But <laughs> he sat me on a pool table once in um in. Like the so in the Groucho, I think it was on a snooker table. He's auditioning in a snooker room, and uh, he bo- he bollocked me. Yeah, he bollocked me. He was like, "Have you even looked at the script?" Like this is this, da, 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 da. and I was like, "On oh, it was like I was getting told off by a teacher." Yeah. But because he found me when I was a kid, I was like, I felt like I'd really let him down. Yeah, it probably was. Oh. Yeah, I was like, oh. And man. had you read the script? Did you need a bollock? Probably not. I was probably yeah, pissed. I needed a bollock. <laughs> but he, he reads people really well, probably and I think that's. Best for, well, that's best a, of, it, of course it is. Yeah, and I think that's what like people in the industry like Des and. Like Stephen and Sheridan, like if you if you're doing something wrong, they'll tell you in a way that's like, and yeah. you respect these people. So you're like, oh shit, maybe I should have listened. Someone smiling at you and blowing smoke up your ass, isn't it? And yeah, do you know what I mean? Go walk, walk away thinking you smashed it or thinking you've done all right and that, and you yeah. absolutely meditate to yourself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm the same. Whenever one of the first conversations <clears throat> I ever had with a director is, I go, if I'm shit, let me know. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't let me go and do yeah. something and but be they like, wouldn't move on oh that was great that that, some do man some do yeah, there's no oh, that was really good that was great not and worse then... than someone beating around bush about yeah. like I really liked you doing this but maybe and just if you don't want to do it man tell me that's yeah, one yeah, and yeah. I'll do you know what I mean Whatever yeah let's work on it because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not one of them where after each take I'll be like is that alright do you know what I mean I'm not I, I can be but I'd rather just be at the open and front and go look if, if I'm shit let me know mm. Yeah. let me know straight away I won't take offence to it yeah. Just like, cause, yeah, like I'm always look. I'm always looking at. I'm always looking at directors. See you once I do. See if they're <laughs> <what they're doing. laughs> Seeing if they're nodding or going like that. Yeah, if they're going. If they're doing that. You think, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Do you think starting so young is the reason? Because when we spoke before, you said about um, the education system in school yeah, was yeah, overrated. Yeah. Um, do you think that might have something to do with the fact that you had an idea of what you wanted to do when you was eight year old? Possibly, yeah. Because you got I'm a taste very, for it. I'm in a luckier position than everyone else, do you know what I mean? Because mm. like, the school system didn't really... Not that it didn't mean as much to me, but like my complaints are they don't tell you how to... They don't, tell, they don't teach you how to fill in a CV, do you know what I mean? Or your fill your taxes returns. in or do all that. You know, all that. No. I've never really had to do a CV and that, do you know what I mean? So I, I'm not, I've not been as, as affected by all, do you know what I mean? You've got it's an agent doing tax returns. But all my mates, <laughs> all my mates, do you know what I mean? I've got to do it and that. I think growing up, School, I used to get tutored on set and that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so school yeah. was just a bit like, well, I absolutely always hated school. I'm not an academic, do you know what I mean? No, I'm the no. same. But and when you always... have that taste of that one-on-one, because I was saying with, with This Is England, I was tutored on set, because we were both, were, weren't we? I just, I just you didn't You just didn't do it, did you? Serious. Um, but, yeah. but I, because I was, in school, I enjoyed elements of it. I enjoyed the, <laughs> I enjoyed being with my mates, basically. Lessons, all that stuff, do you know what I mean? I was like, ugh. But that one to one with a tutor, like you get so much more out of it, don't you? Like, yeah. and obviously, you know, schools work in a way because they have to cater to thirty odd kids in a class and stuff like that. But sometimes I do think then they, they get people like us who are the loud ones or whatever mm-hmm. I can imagine, you know, or the the quote unquote naughty ones probably don't get a look in because they're like, oh, just go and get out, go and sit on the corridor or whatever you have to do. do you know I always I mean? needed one on one, like. Look like attention really me. 
Mm. Always, like I always in bottom set. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like you'd often find me with a TA sat next to me. Do you know what I mean? Making sure I'm sticking at what I'm doing and that. So was you well behaved at school? I was never, I was never like a fighter or out like that. Do you know what I mean? But I was just chatty mm. and. Just a bit a cheeky. little messer, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but not like the biggest messer, do you know what I mean? There yeah. Were, there were lads much worse than me, do you know what I mean? And like, I'd be looking at him saying, oh my God, my dad had absolutely kick off yeah, if I did yeah, that, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. I never went and, I never went and like, went around smoking tree or all like that, do you know what I mean? Because I was scared I'd get caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is well, that what you yeah. use that, like a smoking tree? Yeah, we had like a smoking, like, tree. They're a big, they're a big <laughs> massive tree and everyone used to come behind it and that and you'd get your vapes. Yeah. He might not have Vapes. had this in school. Shit. They'd be massive, like, like and they'd be holding him in their hand like that, and like, and, like wow. and then there'd be one lad, there'd be one, this one lad off at of state who's got all cigs and that, so he's like, nothing yeah, 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 and I'm yeah, like, no, 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 my dad, I'll keep my head in. My yeah. <laughs> That's good that you had that though, that you saw, because I was the same with my dad. I like, when I moved in with my dad, I was like, I really didn't want to piss him off, or I didn't want to, no, no. like, he would, he'd never kick my head in, but it was kind of like, no, I no, never no, wanted to piss but, him off. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I think that's like a, a respect thing almost, and it's yeah, like, yeah, man, when you're a boy, you need, you need, yeah, you need that, that, that discipline, you? definitely, man. Yeah. A lot of lads I know that don't have a dad, and like, I'm glad I do. do you know yeah, what I mean? of course. Like, to have that yeah, guidance. Yeah. And yeah. my mum and dad, it's a, I had a good balance. My mum and dad were never together, do you know what I mean? So I'd go to my dad's Mondays. Two Thursdays Christmases. And Saturdays. Yeah. Two Christmases, yeah, two everything. <laughs> Apparently I were uh, crying in, 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 in car once. See, you can cry. I can cry, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can See, when cry. you need I can to cry, cry, think about I that. I can definitely <laughs> cry, man, but just not on, not on cue. And um, I was crying because I wanted them to be together and that. Or only little, little. And he's like, you get two Christmases, you get two this, two that, and I'm going, oh, we want one. Oh, man. Apparently, it broke his heart, man. Oh, bless him. Oh, yeah, it's broke my heart. That might be the first tea of shit on the podcast. I only want more, man. <laughs> yeah. Man. I'm 21, man. No, 21. How old were you? Oh, I'll have been about. I swear it was last week. <laughs> <laughs> I really fucking love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I just want one Christmas. <laughs> I'll I'll about, if you don't I don't know, I'll be about six, probably. probably oh, six, bless man. you, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. My, my eldest little. is like eight, and I can imagine, yeah, that'd be the fit, that, yeah. There's You've nothing. got two? I've got two, I've got one on the way. Nice, Yeah, man. so three all together. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. Man, busy boy, you need to buy a telly. Days, yeah, need to get a new boy. telly, yeah. That yeah. sky glass is going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always weird, because when, when you said about the, the school system, man, I, I just always think it was never for me because I knew what I wanted to do from a young age. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, then, and, 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 and I get it, that they can't nurture each student to, to what they want to do. Like, my school wasn't able to get me aside and just focus on what I wanted to do because, they, you know, they've got, yeah, they've got, they've got um, <clears throat> curriculum, they've got things that they need to meet and it's like, mm. they can't sort of focus on one kid. So I was doing things that was never, ever going to make any bit, a blind bit of difference yeah. in my life. Mm. Yeah, I always you know knew what I mean? that. I always knew that growing up. Like, you know I knew it, that this yeah. isn't gonna. It don't matter whether I do this or do it or not. Do you know no, I mean? but, but I, I think it does need. I think it needs something because there's, you know, in in a classroom of let's say forty kids, there is going to be at least three or four of them that are going to need help with things like tax returns and things like, like you said, growing up when yeah. knowing what council tax is and knowing what you know, it's everything's tax here, isn't it? Yeah. Knowing how much the government are going to take off us. Yeah, yeah, but like even like you, a week after you leave school, there's lads getting jobs. Do you know what I mean? Because mm, that's yeah. what they're doing. That's yeah, the plan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You leave school and you go get a job, but you've been getting taught Shakespeare like a week before you leave in school, and then you've left school and you don't know how to fucking yeah, you can't go in. You don't know how to fill a job form out, or do you know what I mean? You don't know how to sign up for a job, or yeah. I think, I think it's yeah. quite, quite not lazy because <clears throat> big respect to a lot of teachers, man. They work so hard. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think you need passion. I think yeah, a lot of it's funding. Got passion about them, do you know what I mean? A lot of it's funding and stuff, isn't it? Because obviously, like, uh, I know, I mean, any excuse to Tory badge, I'm going to take it. No, God, there we go. I'm <laughs> no, because obviously, like, now. recently, like, Rishi Sunak <laughs> um, announced that he wants to, like, Never make him. maths more, you know, prominent in school and he wants to make sure that everyone comes out of a certain degree of maths. And I think that's, yeah, okay, fine. But what about drama? What about art? What about dance? What about music? What Stuff you like that compulsory you go, until he was 18? Is that yeah, so like yeah, making it compulsory until 18, that was it. And it's like, great, yeah, you know, maths is important. You know, I mean, I remember when I was in school, I hate maths with a passion. I mm. can't stand it. And I, my argument was to my teachers, you know, I've got a calculator. Well, you won't always have one in your pocket. Well, I bet you will. Well, I do now. I've got an iPhone, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But, like, you know, I think... I mean, I was kind of lucky, in a way, because... Like, with you saying there, like, about your kind of school tea, like, 
Um, my my school at the time, I went to just a normal kind of state school, whatever you call it, in Withenshaw, a little council estate in Manchester. And But at the time, schools were funded half decently. So my school had like more funding put into it in the arts. Yeah. So it was like it had like a specialist. It was like a specialist in arts and, and, and um, science, I think. Mm. So we had like a dance studio and a drama studio and all that. And oh, I wow. think... Had I, do you know what I mean? Because like I was that naughty kid again, same as you. Like I wasn't malicious. I wasn't like, you know, a fighter. I'd, I'd have a scrap if they came to me, but I wasn't. I didn't go looking for trouble. I wasn't scared of anyone. Me, Sam. <laughs> you ain't got um, scrap, <laughs> <in> you, <man. laughs> What are you saying? What are you saying? Um, but I was cheeky. I was loud. I was. I was an, a performer. I wanted to make yeah, every, yeah, all yeah. I wanted to do in my day at school was make everyone laugh. Um, and somewhere, some teacher went go and do drama, do you know what I mean? And kind of push me to it. And luckily my school had that. Where nowadays, I think a it's lot just, of schools don't. It's and there's no so room, even the teachers, like you say, the teachers who are overworked and stuff, can't even go, you know what, you need to go there, go and yeah. sit in on that class because you'll really like that. Because them classes don't exist, or they do, but they're just so underfunded. It's like Sam said, it's, like, it's no disrespect to what the teachers are doing, it's just kind of like, because they do work incredibly hard, but... Sometimes it's just I think kids can get neglected when they when they find a passion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you go to college or anything like that? Did yeah, you yeah, I left because I had to leave high school straight away, man. I high school meaning what? Like as soon as you went from year, year eleven seven to year eleven. Yeah. Like, and once I left year eleven, I had to get out of there, man. Like I won't going to stick around and do like six forms. Because you'd know be compul- compulsory for for yourself, right? Because you'd be in that. You'd have to say in some form of education, whether that was uh, college or. In, uh, Six form. Six form, yeah. Or well, you can join the army. Or you can, yeah. Yeah. Do something like that, man. But I left <laughs> I left college after a year. I studied photography. <laughs> Same. And I tried so to get I. my English and maths. Mate, mate, we've got so much in common. Like, we both <laughs> found bad days. Yeah. Both did thingy and we're both out of work at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got so much in common. <laughs> um, but with me, when I was like growing up in school and that, I had that, um, no, I can't, I can't do this and this and this. Like, I can't mess about too much because they wouldn't let me out. To go do filming in that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, is that why you left the college course? Is that why you couldn't do the photography? Because that's yeah, that's the called Ackley Bridge when I did. I was in the second season of Ackley Bridge when I did when I was in college, and that were a nightmare because they were just picking me up from college every night like, and then dropping me off. And then I'd have like forty five minutes at college, and then I'd have to go back. It's like, do you know what I mean? It got ridiculous. Mm, yeah. And I went to go past my English and maths again. My mum and dad really wanted me to get my English and maths. Yeah. Because I didn't pass them in school. Yeah. And then I failed them again, man. <laughs> And I won't. I won't gonna. I won't gonna pass him again. The only time I was that passionate about English and maths was in year eleven. The only two teachers I've ever had in school that that I felt like I wanted to be in the lessons were like one maths teacher, Mister Hopwood, and Mrs. Harris, an English teacher, and she loved me. Do you know what I mean? Mm, and I hate maths. Yeah. I hate maths. I loved English, but because I, I loved stories and that. Do you know what I mean? But I was shy at spelling and that. I couldn't really do it. But like I remember like having them lessons man and I had them at the same time in the same year and that and I were absolutely buzzing like to go into the lessons do you know what I mean which is yeah. rare you ask any of my family and that about me and maths and that it's not cool I'm the same bad mate. relationship man do you know what I mean but I think that's what that's what makes it easy because I was just saying there's certain subjects that I, I, I didn't really care for the subjects but there was teachers that I just enjoyed being with mm-hmm. and that's because they took their time mm-hmm. and they had their patience yeah. with me like there were so many teachers that said to me oh you're not going to do anything you're you know, you're a vile little shit, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, if you treat me like a vile little shit and you tell me I am, yeah, yeah. I'll start to I'll fucking be. believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but then eventually you get certain teachers who was like, it was Mr. Atkin at my school. Like, he was just, he understood me and he was like, he was patient with me, which is what you needed. And that, mm. they're the ones that you respect. And yeah. if I saw Mr. Atkin in the pub now, I'd buy him a buy pint. A pint. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? But there's 99% of my teachers that I wouldn't even say hello to. Saying, let's get outside, get your coat off. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. off it's not a fight on the car, man. It's not a fight. <laughs> he, no, yeah. when in school he wanted, now he'll take any man. Yeah. <laughs> take the shirt off any man. Come on. No, no, oh, man. <laughs> but no, it is, it's true, isn't it? Like, good teachers, like, make, like, so much of a difference. Because, same, yeah. like, again, I think everyone has got that, you know, that one teacher. Mine was, like, you know, not so ugly enough, like my drama teacher, because mm-hmm. I think, more importantly, like she spoke to us like adults. Treat you like Like yes. we'd be in drama club in like year eight and she'd swear. Yeah, and it'd just be I was normal. Say, and you'd be like, yeah, cool. You know you're getting her sacked. What? No, she's uh, cool. She's getting the elbow. But no, but like, not fault. like swear at you, but like just in conversation, like like adults do. Yeah. You know, she'd go, Oh, yeah, that was a bit shit, wasn't it? And, and yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You'd, at first you'd be like, Oh, 
but then you learn to respect them because she wasn't teaching you like yeah. uh, one thing for me was like my kind of my family always taught me like respect those that respect you and show people, people the same amount of respect yeah. that you but then also if people don't respect you then don't respect them back yeah, yeah. which and don't like, work, I which took don't that work into... when you're going into a school and you're getting a teacher shouting at you yeah, from, exactly, from, yeah. you know what I mean not yeah. a lot I was speaking to my mates about it last night because I've been asking them think of stuff over it think of them with them <laughs> come up with this you know what I mean and there was one lad and he said, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so, she were a right bitch. I was thinking, why? Why are you going to school at 13, 14? And this woman, this older woman, is being a bitch to you. Like, you know what I mean? Or being nasty to you. Like, what is what is that all about, man? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To be from the teacher's point of view, why are they being like that? Yeah, like, why, why are they being like that? I think I mean, it's I mean, kind of they've like... Got, they've got, like, 30, 30 <coughs> children who are obnoxious or dissent over and that, but you know what you're signing up for, man. You know what I mean? I guess so. Surely. I mean, you know... People can people can have bad days, can't they? Do you know That's what, I mean? what I was going to say. You yeah. know, and and like yeah, you say, true. teachers are you know overstretched and overworked, and you know thirty kids to one teacher and stuff like that. But mm. yeah, I think you can have your bad days. But if you just, if I mean, I know the exactly kind of teachers that you're on about, where you you look at them going, why are you? In yeah, this they don't look, like, look like, like they want to be all, there. We all know a teacher like that, don't we? Do you yeah. know what I mean? well, why are you that then? Yeah. Why are they like? Why are they, why are they getting allowed to? Yeah, man. I'm my maths teacher, isn't you know I mean? it? Your maths teacher hit me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't like maths anyway. You're getting so many people sacked. I, know, well, I wish I'd have got him sacked. Um, yeah, no, full on. I think I might have said this on the podcast before. Or, what? Or, you? Mate, honestly. So he was like, "What did you do?" Though? So, so like again, <laughs> I was known as the cheeky lad, the one in the class clown kind of. Do you know what I mean? Um, and he was in. I think it was in about year nine. Year. I bet 10. you had a beard in year nine as well. Right? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Um, and basically, I'd got put into, like, you know, like when you move up and you change your teachers and all that. And I'd got put into his class and he was like the head of math. So everyone was just innately sort of scared about yeah, him anyway because yeah, he was the head of maths. maths. But he was also a rugby player. He was a big lad. He was a rugby player and all that. So everyone was just like, ah, oh, you don't mess around for Mr. Rolf. I'll call him out, Mr. Rolf. You know? Oh my God, you're getting the elbow. Um, I hope he does get it. He's probably not working anymore. He was old then. Um, he's playing for the Leeds. He's not anymore. He's playing for the Leeds. And Rhinos, genuinely, mate. genuinely, a couple of months in, like, I, and I was good in his class because I was like, yeah, it's Mr. Rolf. You don't mess around for Mr. Rolf. I remember just asking my mate for like a rubber or something. And this is what you told your mum. Oh, no, no, this is We're the, only asking for a rubber. This is the truth. This is the truth. I'd tell you if it wasn't. And it, yeah, he just came came behind me and just like literally like whacked me on my back and I obviously went forward and then whacked me on my front. Can you call me? Honestly, give me, <laughs> a, little, give me a little one two <laughs> step like fucking Sierra, and then literally went get out now and I was just in, like shock. You were like out of style. Walked outside <laughs> and then I was just sort of stood in the corridor, kind of processing it. Obviously, it hurt as well. Did you go to? Like... And then he came out to the corridor. Please don't tell anyone. Please don't tell anyone. He was shouting at me, and I just, I was like, whoa, 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 let me, let me just stop you. I went, you just hit me. No, I did not. Da, da, da. And I literally opened the door to the class, and I just went, did, did he just hit me? And literally, the whole class just went, yeah. And then I just went, you, and I like lost it at him. Uh, but then I got my mum in, got all. I think we went, we called the police that night. Whoa. Got my mum in, all that. Nothing happened. No. I just wasn't allowed to be. I wasn't allowed to be in a room with him. So I kind of then used that to my. Because again, I was kind of like, you know. A Saying shit. every teacher in the school. So basically, we had a thing in our school where if you got so many like bad points or whatever, you had to like stay in a detention at lunch. And because like all the heads of departments would like sit in that detention, yeah, so you'd have like yeah. the head of English doing like a mm. week, then you'd have the head of science. So whenever it was him, he'd walk in, and I'd just stand up and go, "I'm not allowed to be in a room with you," and just oh, go out yeah. and go and play footy or whatever. But he absolutely hated you. Oh, you mate, he full like, I mean, he hit me. Of course he did. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> if you saw him in a pub now, what would you do? If he was old and frail, what would you do? If he was vulnerable, like you, would give him a little double cock. Would you get, I was gonna say, <laughs> would you get out? <laughs> would you fucking sideswipe him like you did? I, like to think that I am no, the bigger man and I'm a bit of a pacifist but oh, I, I'd, 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 I'd go and give him a bollocking I'd go over and go like and more so I'd go over and I'd be like you, you treated me like shit and like I'd fucking sideswipe I'm him. not do you know what I mean I'm not that was the <laughs> thing more than anything do you know what I mean it's like that like you were saying there where you know he kind of just treat treat you like oh they can't be arsed or whatever mm. and because they think like you say most of the people coming through there are just going to go straight out and do yeah. whatever and it's like no one's special or whatever and you kind of go I don't know I'd, I'd, I'd have a yeah. good conversation with him 
I'd want to take him out of the car park, but he'd be old now. How was the, um, what was the other kids like with you at school? No, because you'd been on, the, like you'd worked with like Paddy and you'd worked with some great actors. Like and you was on the telly. I have a clue, really, who they were, man. You know but I mean? well, like you was in, you was on the telly, or you was in the cinemas, or you was a, yeah, like, yeah, like a movie star, and I bet they assumed you was all rich and mega yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That were always like, that were always the narrative. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, he's always well rich and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It were all right, man. You get a couple of lads that are like people that are jealous and that they sign over, but really they were all alright because I've done it since I was primary school so anyone that I went up with See, yeah, already yeah. knew do you know what I mean like all my mates that I know now they've always like, there's no jealousy in there now do you know no, what I mean no it's always so just they've like, always just known forever do you know what I mean and yeah. that's been the thing have you so ever had anyone through. give you any shit like when you was in school yeah 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 man I remember getting bullied in my first high school because of who you was nah probably not maybe I don't know it was an all boys school and it was very rough oh was it do you know what I mean yeah, and I just yeah. had to get out of there more as quick as possible yeah. Got like, you know what I mean? A couple of fights there and that. Yeah. But like, I'm not a fighter, so I was just getting beat up. Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> um, and it might have been something to do with that, really. But I never had a chip on my shoulder. I've never, ever been like that kid. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, it can be tough, I think, being in like such a working craft. Like, it can either be really tough or it can be really easy. Like, being in such a working class area like Grimsby or Bradford or Halifax or even Withenshaw, like... I think when you've got something going on, like kids can be vicious, like and I don't think mm. that they mean to be as such, but they're showing off in front of the mates, or they'll say this, or go, oh, there's that kid off the this, that, and I just think sometimes it can, it can yeah, yeah, be it can a be bit harsh. much. Like, but even then, now you'll get it, like you'll get some, like some gobshite woman who'll go, up, who'll like you'll be in a pub or something, mm. and she'll be stood at over end at bar, and you'll just see that pointing in your and face. You're like, rah, 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 rah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like you've got the, you're gonna have that throughout your whole life. I had that yeah. in high school and that there's some little, you know what I mean? And you're walking past a, a bunch of girls and some lad goes, oh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. And you're thinking, well, I don't know, get my plastic <laughs> put down and we get out of it. They were never out more than that, really, I don't think. You know yeah. I mean? The one that I love is when people, I did the other day on the train and um, there's a group of lads that had asked me for a photo and then one of them was in the background going, I don't know who you are. I've never seen it. Yeah, I don't know who you are. I'll, I'll have a photo anyway. And, but he kept saying it. Because, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, I don't know who you are, but I'll have a photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I was, and I said to him, I said, you've said that you don't know who I am, that's fine, but, like, why do you keep highlighting it? Like, everyone's yeah, yeah. here, you say it once, if you keep repeating it, it's not going to get any funnier. No, no, no. Or any fucking... I just, it's not a diss, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I, I just don't... You, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean? fine, I'm not bothered it's if you don't know who I am. You know what there is? I always find there's, like, three people, there's people that genuinely find it interesting and they want to ask you about it because... They think it's amazing. You know what I mean, it's absolutely up like mad. You know what I mean? Mm. There's people that will like you for who you are and not yeah. care. Do you know what I mean? And then there's people that, whether they've seen it or not, they're going to say they haven't seen it, and they're going to let you know that you, you they either didn't like it yeah. or they haven't seen it. Do you know what I mean? They don't know who you are and that. Yeah. It's yeah. like your mates have come up to me. I'm not like walking around this, yeah. this pub thinking I'm. I love that, but you know what it is? It's just because they're mean? fucking jealous that they're not getting the attention. It's gotta be jealous. They're not getting the attention, and you like are that, from their mates. Yeah, yeah. Their mates are excited to see you and not to see them. I think yeah. that's what it is. No, but there's always one, isn't there? Yeah, there's always no, one. Never seen it. Never yeah. seen yeah. it. But I find it quite <laughs> funny. I, I had someone once. Yeah. Um, so my best mate who I grew up with, um, he's an actor as well. And um, at the time he was in Emmerdale, so obviously. Quite well known, you'd walk mm. anywhere you'd go. Yeah, soap people stars would people fucking... would clock him and be over. And we went in the pub and it was this woman who we sort of both knew from like years ago and all that. And um we walked in and she came over and she was chatting to him. And then she just turned around to me and she went, You do acting, don't you? And I went, Yeah, she went, Bet you wish you were him, don't you? And I was like Cool. No, no, I was in BAFTA winning This Is England. No, but not even that. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you no, stick to you. <laughs> that's my best mate. I'm not yeah. sat here like dead jealous because like you're coming over to him or because he's on a minute. I'm like, yeah. I'm happy for me mate cracking on and doing a mint job and you know <laughs> doing what he loves. I'm not jealous of him or. Nah. But it just sticks with me because you think, that. why does why did yeah. she go? I'm gonna make this guy feel bad now. Bet you might, feel jealous. Make him like, feel small. Yeah. Do you th- I think feelings if you if you get jealous. I mean, you could like get jealous of another actor. I think is kind of like that's not a good, it's not no. a good way to be. No, I think no, a good thing that helped me with that. Not not that like I was ever jealous, but you know, like when you when you lose out on a part and then you watch it and you're like, oh man. Yeah, they were shit. Be fair, to but be fair. like, what got, helped me get through that? I remember chatting with to Michael Soccer, and he was like, just watch it and be honest with yourself. And I was like, what do you mean? He went, he was like, if I watch something and someone else has got my part, 
and I genuinely think they were better than me. I'll accept that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, and I've done that ever since. Mate, like, I watched the final goal. Yeah. Fair play is the best way to do it. Yeah, I'm no, only just play. starting to and get it's... around that, really. Like, I can't really watch things that I've auditioned oh, for. Oh, really? And really? Like, yeah, if I've auditioned for it and I ain't got it, I'm like, no, I'm not going to go watch that, man. Mate, you can learn so a lot from be... it. But yeah, like, you I watched I watched a thing. But never, you should reason. never, like, you should never, if you don't get a part, you should never feel like you never got it because you're not good enough. It's like, it could, there's just so many. What's for you, what's for you? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, I mean. And there's so many variables, like you're saying, you, you know, the, the more, like you say, you do this, you, the, the more you'll get that, like, you know, it could be down to the fact that they've cast your dad and you don't look anything like the actor. Mm, or yeah. any, do you know what I mean? If it's yeah, down to yeah, you and someone else, when it gets down to the two years, especially, it's never down to acting skill because that's, that's gone now. It's like, you know, schedule. Everything else. Um, he can be anything, yeah. Does he look like his mum and yeah. dad or the person playing his kid? Or... No, I am getting better at, I am <laughs> getting better at watching things that I haven't been in. Like. Yeah. But like, even like Gallows Paul, like that'll be around the corner from me and I'll be seething about not getting yeah. an audition or not getting a look in for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'll probably still watch it. But maybe a couple of years ago, I would, I'd, have mate, been like, be nah. I'd have been like, nah, mate, I'm not watching it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I am getting better. It can be like, because I missed out on something that Taron Edgerton ended up doing. And I remember it was like, it, it could have potentially changed my life. Was you going to be Elton John? No. <laughs> <laughs> was you going to be I a can see it, <laughs> No, but I, I remember like it going to Taron and I remember being gutted. And then just I, pick that out, mate. Yeah, just get that. <laughs> and then, um, but then I watched the film, and I was like, "There's no way I could have done yeah. nearly as good a job as he's done there." Mm. And it's like, but there has been times when I've watched things um, that other actors have got, and I'm like, "That was, that was shite." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not necessarily shite, but like, I feel like I could have done that so much better, yeah. or could have done that in my sleep. But then, like Andy said, there's different variables of it. But yeah, the, when you watch something and you know <clears throat> that they've smashed it, like Taron, like I was, I was buzzing for him. Like, and it almost made me feel like I'm glad I never attempted it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. There's um, something else you were saying just before. You said about Dubai. Mm. Yeah, fuck Dubai, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm not spending all that money to be told what I can and can't do by some fella. Do you know what I mean? Have you been there? Have you been no, over to Dubai? No, I won't go there, me, I don't think. No. Not a chance, man. No. Is that nah, where the, the World Cup was at? Oh, no, the World Cup was in... Uh... Um... Yeah, same, yeah, right, same okay. country, wasn't it? Same sort of, yeah. Sorry, I put that on side. Sorry, right, mate. Yeah, because, like you say, because there was all that with, with, with the World Cup and stuff, wasn't there, about obviously human rights abuses. Yeah, yeah. how can it be over there? How can it be over there? It's mad, isn't it? Women's football are just getting, like, the recognition that it deserves and that, and then we go and have it in a country where. Mate, women aren't even allowed women. to drive. Yeah, it's just disgusting. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Why, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's but, crazy, but the whole, I think it's all, the whole thing's a bit wild, but that's. That's the main reason that a lot of people disagree with Dubai, but also, and it'll go into your other subject that he was on about as well, but you go to Dubai, mate, and you're going to be like, I follow this um, Instagram account um, called Influencers in the Wild. Have you heard of it? No. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, oh, my it. God. Oh, it's man. basically like behind-the-scenes videos so people of people... Influences. Andy will tell you. I'm oh, sorry, go on. Mate. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's basically it's people videoing influencers from behind the scenes so like say there's I, don't, I couldn't tell you of an influencer's well, it's name not like someone's taking a photo yeah and they're like... so say you're on the beach doing your influencer stuff me and Andy are, are on holiday and we'll go oh look at that and we've videoed it but I think it was you that told me about it actually possibly about, yeah. about the so it'd be like so yeah so it'd be like a woman on the beach mm. like you know like like getting that perfect Looking shot sex, yeah. but it'll be it'll be someone filming her like poor boyfriend who's there trying to like oh, get the angle brilliant. and all that or terrible, people dancing yeah. in, in the middle of New York or whatever and yeah. do you know what I mean like yeah, the, the fact that there's it. loads of people trying to get past them and yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah well, Dubai people, is very much that in it like it's Dubai is like what rafters, Nando's man. was when Nando's first became a thing Don't like dare say Nando's is overrated no I'm not saying Nando's overrated I'm, I'm saying it's not as it's not it's not as bad anymore but like there was a point where Nando's everyone was like you had to tweet that you were at Nando's well, yeah, if like, you were at Nando's anywhere and Dubai is a bit like that isn't anywhere it? that's popping like you, like there were, there were a place called Trap Kitchen in Manchester do you know Trap Kitchen in Manchester I've heard yeah, it. I've yeah, heard yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. ridiculous absolute bag of shite bag <laughs> yeah. of shite honestly like it came in a tray and that and you'd get mac and cheese and you'd get like prawns if you're listening I'll take free <laughs> yeah I'll yeah take yeah free prawns and that yeah you're, you're not get, getting like, a voice over for them mate. yeah 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 <laughs> But like every time you'd go, it'd be like banging it on your story. Yeah, like, I'd do it. Do you know what I mean? But everyone would just fall like fall into patterns of doing it, man. It's not good, man. I think Dubai has become that, hasn't it? Because well, like you say, it's very much like because it's an expensive holiday and it's you know it's quite flashy to be there and it's 
it's quite a flashy place. That's all it is, I think, isn't it? It's just flashy. <clears throat> I think yeah. it's like that, but it's that, that's like the that, that's like the international hub of the influencer. Yeah. Like, but I think Leeds is becoming the hub for the UK. Like, most okay. of the influencers and stuff that I know, like, yeah, yeah. It's quite and you get all these though, like really? OnlyFans models and things like that. They're, oh dear. They. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> they all live in Leeds. Charlotte, we're moving to Leeds. No, they, but they, Charlotte, like, we're moving. Yeah. <laughs> but Leeds has become this hub of like where influencers mm. all just chill and they hang out. Like I know loads of people from Grimsby who have become influencers. Like they're moving to Leeds because that's where they all. Serious? Yeah, that's where they all sort of that is congregate and just influence together. It's a, it's a great city, is Leeds. Like I it's think, a great city. I think it's yeah. one, of, one of the best in like Yorkshire. Do you know what I mean? Like I, like, I don't know. Sheffield's got my heart. Yeah, it will do though. You'll have a lot of members. Yeah. Over yeah. Leeds is nice, and I've done a few jobs over in Leeds, like back in the day, the Royal and uh, uh, stuff like that, Heartbeat, bits of in there. But yeah, I don't know, Leeds, to me, just feels a bit, I don't know, it's it's like Birmingham, it's a big city, but it's got a kind of, I don't know, I don't know, don't know what I'm trying to say, it feels a bit bleak in areas, Leeds. Serious. Um, where for me, I don't know, Sheffield just has that kind of not bleak. Tell me, Sheffield's, tell me Sheffield's not bleak. Kind of a, no, I mean, I think it's bleak, man. It's bleak. Yeah, Sheffield's I like a bleak the city. bleakness because I'm from a very bleak place myself, so I like that. I I, I enjoy that, but I don't know. I, I don't know. She- it feels very enclosed, Leeds. That's what I mean to say. When you're like in the Leeds, city centre, yeah, it's, like, it's one ring road, and yeah, it's just, it's all uh, similar there. to like Birmingham, where like I don't know, Sheffield's like. It's just dead cool in it. I don't know. I quite like yeah, it. Yeah, it's quite green enough. still, isn't it, Sheffield? Well, it's yeah. built on seven hills, Sheffield, isn't it? That's it's what it very is. hilly, like isn't it? Like it's very hilly. Apparently, yeah. Which you've been recently. I've just recently been in this podcast, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I... Um, Did you I, film it all in Sheffield? Uh, it, yeah, we've made all of this is in the series. The series yeah. is where the film was. What about was the film? Not in Gimbal's film. Not in Gimbal's film. Is that where Shane Meadows is from? It's from Burton. Burton, Burton, Trent. What's that? Where's that? Sort of Stoke... Like middle of country, sort of Midlandy, yeah. Yeah, 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 between Nottingham and Stoke, can it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, gonna, you're gonna have it close to your heart, aren't you, man? Yeah, Early I mean, you know, we've had so many good times in that, in that, in that city, and Leeds as well. To be fair, like I say, we've my mate doing Emmerdale, like we have many good sort of times in in Leeds and propaganda in Leeds with DJ out, there a few yeah. nights. And Do you both DJ? Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't done it for a while, though. Oh, we did the one. When did we last do one? I don't know. We did one Christmas, around Christmas, didn't we? We did one Christmas, didn't we? Yeah. Use it as an excuse for a Christmas night out, a free night out. Yeah, yeah it's nice to see each other. And obviously, that's why we love doing this, because we like... So, did you do it together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And Andrew Shim as well, who plays Milka. He does yeah. it as oh, well, so... Nice, man. It'll either be me and Shimmy, or me and Tomo, or Tomo and Shimmy, or, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so yeah. Kind of never, never all three of you? Sometimes. We've got <laughs> the odd one that's yeah. been all three of us. But it's cool, man. It's dead nice. It does like sound we've been, cool, man. We, we did like we've been sort of Paris, Milan, been all over the place. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweden. Where? Yeah, it's Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Been all over. Yeah, it's good fun. But yeah, just Leicester. going back. <laughs> in Leicester, you know what I mean? What a place. Go on, going back to what? I was just going to go back to the Dubai thing. I just want to like, I don't know what yeah. it is, but like, it's the whole social media thing about it that's like that's built up a hype about it. I think people will go to Dubai, even if they've got no, never, they've got no sort of, that's what I'm trying to say, like they've got, they've got no desire to go there, but they feel because all influencers and yeah, everyone's out there, and they just want to take a selfie out there. That's that's yeah. the only reason people are doing it. Well, you can't, there's just so many rules out there. Like, I don't know what you can't do, but you can't do everything you want to do. Do you know what I mean? Nah. I, don't, I think to go all that way and spend all that money, man, you may as well go somewhere like Thailand or just somewhere else where you, where it's not as strict. Yeah. You're not going to get put in prison for seven years or something if you do something wrong. Do you know yeah, right? yeah. If you do yeah. like little things as Doing well. Little like, right, wrong, you yeah. can't sort of show, not show affection, but you can't like hold hands you or can't you can't kiss. Things like, can you public yeah, you can't. Something? Well, my, my brother Matthew and his, yeah. and his husband Matthew. They would not be able to go to Dubai. Serious? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they no, just, no, I mean, they would. Yeah. They, they would be able to go, to. but they wouldn't be able to like, hold hands show or effect, show to dress the way that they normally dress. Serious? Yeah, they, they just wouldn't be able See, to. Like, they're, they're a married couple. couple man. They're a married easy, couple. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, all these people that go, they'll be the same people that that want to back uh, women's rights and they yeah, want to back yeah. mental health week and stuff, do you know what I mean? But then they'll go and post it all over social media, making other people... You know what I mean? Feel shit about themselves because or making other people think that they're better than them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's all hypocritical, man. Yeah, the whole it thing, is, the whole it? social media side of things, like yeah, it's terrible. I think social media is just uh, recently come, like I've not come off Instagram, but I've deleted off my phone. Like I've got it on my iPad, which I don't really use, just for that reason alone, man. Because it can just make you, you follow these people. 
you just not for not so much mental health, but it's just just the bullshit of it all. Just I can't be asked to see like all these um, amazing people's lives are yeah. in one post, and then the next post they're moaning about that they're not they're not feeling like yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. anxious or this that that. It's just kind of like you're not doing yourself any favors. No. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely like a culture behind like a not a victim culture, but like like a look at me <coughs> thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like what. I don't know. I think Instagram's the biggest one for that, isn't it? Because, Definitely. like, say, like, Twitter, Facebook, like, Twitter's become, like, just a, an, a slagging match, hasn't it? Like, people just go on there to argue. Yeah, I'm scared of try that. Try and say the most, like, um, the biggest kind of, like, offensive thing they can yeah, or whatever the and stuff dish, like that. It? Facebook, like, is just a place where people check in A&E. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm in A&E again with our Dave. Like, yeah, why are you yeah. doing that? Like, going to be all right, though. Are your babes okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> but then Instagram, like, I remember when that first kind of came out and you were like, oh, this is good, this now, because it's like, it's just pictures so people can be really arty and people, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but that and then got people flipped just, on its head, didn't it? Well, you're just looking through it going, well, they're having a better life than me. It's yeah. just a, it's just a mirror into depression, isn't it? You're looking yeah, going, yeah. they're in Dubai or they're doing this or that. And I've been guilty of it posting, you know, I don't post pictures on my Instagram of like, you know, me sat watching telly with the kids Sun- again. Sunday it's morning when you day. wake up and you've got bed head and that. No one does. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no one so does. we're all kind of, th- uh, you know, guilty of it, I guess. But it is it is just a place where you just kind of get lost in and back other on, people's lives. Back onto the school thing, like, these teachers, they're going to be, ra- like, not raising, but they're going to be um, dealing with all these kids that are growing up now that are seeing all that. And, like, mm. obviously I had Instagram and it were all, like, social media were a big thing, like, in my childhood and like growing up through high school and that but it'll be so much bigger now yeah yeah. well they had I mean? none of it when we, when we was kids no 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 we had like MSN fuck up we're old but like the, yeah, the, the generation of kids that we're going to be raising now through all that stuff it's going to be <coughs> terrible man yeah well I was just chatting earlier on to, to sort of say about like my uh, my eldest she's eight and um, she she's, she wants to she does acting classes and she wants to go with that down that route, and it was something I was always a bit nervous of, and um, I, I sort of chatted, and, and basically she she wanted to like make YouTube videos, and I'm like, but that's not acting, like that's, do you know what I mean? Like that's something she tried to chase, like like some people want to be famous, and I had to say to her, I was like, if you want those acting classes, go and learn acting, mm. don't go. Mm-hmm. Thinking, because obviously she's seen me being on the tele, like that she's not watched anything I've done. She loves this is England. She can't <laughs> she, get enough of it. Yeah, she, she loved the walking, <laughs> <laughs> but like she's, do you know what I mean? She's not, but she knows that I'm I'm on the telly and stuff yeah. like that. So, whether in her head she goes, oh, I want to be like, and I'm like, no, don't come at it like I want to be on the telly or I want to be in films, I want to be mm. famous. You've got to come at it going from a place of because because I came from it of a place like I just loved acting me like I just mm. won't bother it like if I was going to go yeah. be on a stage or whatever I was like I want to do that for a job like I just love acting mm. you know luckily fell into sort of film TV that kind of stuff and I, and I love it but I think yeah some people do kind of go I just want to yeah. think and TikTok's nowadays with, in, with social media you know I, I play a bit of Call of Duty me like, not a lot, like, I'll game a little bit. When you told me the other day, you was up till 3am. I was up till 3am the other night. That's but terrible. now there's people... 34 years old. Got kids. <laughs> Grow hey, up. They were at my mum's for the night. No, but there's people nice. out there now who make a living off playing Call of Duty because they get yeah, yeah. famous from it. Fair yeah, play, but then, like, TikTok. then everyone thinks, right, okay, I want yeah, to do that, I want to do that. There's people on TikTok that will earn more in a month than all of us as lot are earning. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? We've got three actors that have been doing it for years and someone who's ten year old doing TikToks will be earning more money. Yeah, than yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, for me, that, like you say, if there's a creative outlet and they're doing something new and creative, I'm like great, like great. Like say watching like you say Some of the TikToks are very clever though. That's what I mean, yeah, fair yeah, play, but yeah, then yeah, sometimes but like you say when they're just kinda like influencers for the sake of influencers and stuff like that, you kinda like yeah. what what is it you do? What, like, what what's it? I don't be, get like, it. It's a bad place to be. TikTok's a terrible place to be. Like yeah, women, yeah. women on TikTok. So you're like, not coming for them. Like, I'm not coming for a minute, but it's like it's mental, man. I don't want. A, I don't want like. I don't want a little girl me. Just no. because of that. Well, that's the what dance, I mean. It's like yeah, you know what I mean. The, the dances and the all that kind of crazy stuff. And what the way it is wild. I've got a family friend, and she's like, she's young. She must have. She's early years of high school, do you know what I mean? And my mum's got t- my mum's got a TikTok account, and she must she's seen her account and that, and it's no it's no like. It's no too, sexual. 
mm-hmm. but it's like it's hinting at, at it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, God. Yeah. And she's like a young girl, and like my mum doesn't know whether to tell tell her parents what she's. You know what I mean? Like yeah. what she's doing and that, and it's like. They'll all, be, they'll all be doing it. Well, they're just I mean, sexualising just... themselves, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, it's... Because, because, like you said, like, like the word influencer, it's like that, to me, says that you should be influencing mm. people. But, they, yeah. but they're influencing people to do all the wrong fucking mm. things, in my, in yeah, my yeah, opinion. Yeah. It's like, like you just said, you've got, you've got young girls who are, what, 14? Yeah, yeah. Who, who are seeing their, their idols on TikTok dancing with hardly any clothes on. Yeah, yeah. And look at like, the pauses that they do and that, you know what I mean? They'll be doing all that and that. It's not cool. That's not influencing, no. that's like... No. I think... It's corrupting. Yeah, it's, it's corrupting, it's, why, it's mad. I genuinely think, because me, me and my wife are quite strict with our kids in terms of like letting them have phones or even screen time. I bought them an iPad last year just because I was like, you know what, I was working away and I was like, I want them to be able to FaceTime me and I can ring them if they're at, because they were at my mum's or yeah, my wife's mum's or wherever. And I was like, you know, I'll get... They can have games on it, they can play mm. for it a little bit, but that's about it, but... I I genuinely think that kids shouldn't be allowed that kind of stuff. I think I think you you know like obviously <laughs> saying it like oh, do you remember when? No, nobody here does, but like you know like when cigarettes first became a thing and like you see like adverts for them where it's like healthy your doctor you suggests you smoke five a day to <laughs> keep your lungs healthy mm. and all that stuff and kids were like fine, like it was like fine for kids to smoke, like Those nobody candy cigarettes. Nobody like understood that. the yeah. dangers of it. I think then obviously it came along like, you know, smoking causes cancer and lung disease and, you know, all this. And they banned it for kids and like now they're slowly phasing it out for like adults. I do think that like, I think phones, having a phone in your hand, you should be, you should have to be like 16. That's yeah. not going nowhere, mate. I That's genuinely, good, good analogy, genuinely though, think they need to do Everyone thinks it's good and then now everyone's slowly cutting on to... I do, because it's, you know it's I mean? killing it's... so many That's kids. That's not going like, literally, anywhere. The no, same, yeah, but then I bet, I bet, I genuinely bet, if we were sat here now doing the podcast in the 1930s and I'd be like, oh, Tomo, no. cigarettes, they're bad. You'd be like, I can't see them. No, doing because there's too, there's, too, <laughs> there's too much good. We have that bit in black and white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's too much good to come from phones, i.e. kids' safety in yeah, a sense. Yeah. that you can track is there? Them. You I mean, what do you mean you can track education. their whereabouts? Kids? But we anything. never got tracked as kids. No, 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 but right? I, no, but what I'm saying is nowadays like there is a lot to do with, like, for ki- it is handy for kids to have phones. Yeah, you can find out. You can put a tracker on you the. You can find out exactly where they are. Would like, you do that? What? So it, Phoebe's gone missing. You like touch wood. No, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Oh, we can just scan her and Phoebe, find out where she is. She's not going out like on her own, re- she like will be. really, until she will she's be. sort of like a teenager ish. And then I, I'd feel bad doing that. Would a lot you of kids, feel bad? A lot of kids are walking around. Are walking around. Eight and nine, do you know what I mean? We're, yeah, we're, we're just we're just a pals, though. Do you know what I mean? Modern society, like modern, like modern day, like technology, the phones are like they they're used for so much. They, but then is that not is that not our uh, what's the word like? Like I say, we never had that. I don't think you would have ever had that, right? You, I mean, you probably had an iPhone when you were a teenager, so yeah, maybe yeah. you did have that tracking element. So we never had. I that. never got tracked. Oh, right? Yes. Yeah, so so. We had that freedom, and, and we probably abused that freedom. We all, I'm guessing, was like, your mum would go, don't go further than the park, but you'd probably go to your mates who lived down a bit further than the park yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I had that on, like, my kids' phones, and I said to them, don't do that, and I checked it, I don't, I just, I don't know. Are we, are we taking away freedoms there from them? I get that it's good to track them, and obviously, worst comes to worst, like, I'd want that tool. But then I just feel like... Mm. We never had it. Why do you need it now? But then can you not just cut out social media and not phones? I guess so. I guess so. I don't think it's so much the phone that is bad. It's social media. Mm. I don't know, because then you do get... Do you use social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, Twitter, Instagram? Uh, I just browse on Twitter. I use Instagram. I don't use Facebook. No. I've got a fake Facebook on me. Have you? Yeah, it's got thousands of followers. What, that someone's made? Yeah, oh, someone's yeah, made yeah, a fake yeah. one of you. Yeah, I yeah. thought you meant you've got like a fake name one way. No, 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 right. no. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I've got oh, a fake God. name on Instagram. Uh, but what, yeah, so you've yeah. got like a little spy one so no one knows who you are? I've got a spy one and I've got a normal a one on Instagram. A spy one? Yeah, well, you're like, mate, I've got, I've got a little Twitter account. It's got like 14 of my friends on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like that. I've got a little Twitter account that's got 12 followers yeah. and I just follow like <laughs> football stuff. 
Really? I think yeah, we, and that's we, all what I follow. Whereas I've got an Instagram that I use for like work shit. This fake yeah. Facebook's got like a four a thousand, like four thousand people following. Wow. People <laughs> that I know as well. People that I know. Man. And are they posting and stuff? Uh, for to be by, and they pull photos from like my Twitter or my Instagram. And so that. they're fully pretending to be you. Fully pretending to be me. There's photos of my, like my ex girlfriend on there. Photos of me and my mates on there. So like people think me and my mates are like. With thing. things like that. Mental. I just think. Who's got the time? I've barely got the time it's to like, someone got post the time. about my own thing. Because I remember it happened to um, Nico Miralegro. I remember someone years ago had like a, a fake Twitter or sort of Instagram of him and I seen it and I, I was like, what? Why? It's Why ridiculous. do people... But the thing is what? as well, is you can't do anything about that because it happened to me. Someone recently has made a Facebook and I got um, I got loads of people to report report it and stuff and nothing ever came yeah, of no, it. I so happen. I messaged him on Facebook and he replied back saying, I've been waiting for you. So I'm sat there going, Whoa. <laughs> going, what the fuck? And I was like, I never messaged back after that. I was like, what's going on? Like, have they got some date on me or something? Is that like, always, always said? I've been waiting, yeah, I've been for, waiting for the, I've been waiting for this message or something along those lines. I'll show you when we've done. I've been waiting but, for this Yeah, message, but I'm thinking, Thomas. is he going to say to me, like, I've got this or I've got that, and, and you if better. you don't give me $4 million, wow. I'm going to ruin your life, because I'm like, there is so much shit that could ruin my life. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, it's so wild how that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but they've reported it, reported it, reported it, and they just won't do anything I think you've just got to be sort of, like, cautious. It's not illegal. And, and, and especially with our kind of jobs. Like, I remember, um, again, you know, when we started out acting, it was very early days, and I think Facebook probably wasn't even about when we started, but then came a thing. And I remember, no, like, MySpace and when This Is England 86 came out, I remember, like, loads of people adding me on Facebook, and I'd be like, accept, 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 accept. Fit women, mm. fit women. Well, fit not women. just yeah. anyone, to be honest. <laughs> That's what I do. And then, like, <laughs> up until a couple of years ago, I still had, like, all of them on my Facebook. And I, and then I got hacked. And I was like, right, I'm just going to get rid of Facebook. And I got rid of it for a bit. And then I was like, oh, actually, I quite like it to keep, a, I've got, you know, Good family, family in Ireland, family in Australia, yeah, all that. It's keeping contact with them. And they're probably watching this now going, he never speaks to me. But, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I, so I, you know, made a little fake but. You kind of, it's a weird one, isn't it, social media, because we kind of almost are told that we need it, for, and increasingly probably do need it yeah. for our work. That's the reason I haven't deleted mine, because I'm like, I, I don't know whether if I haven't got one, it might get, not get me a job. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because really? that is happening, where actors oh, okay, are going, yeah, I'll say, I don't know, Sam is up for the same job, job as Tomo, but Sam's got half a million followers and Tomo's only got 50,000. I've heard about that. Chances yeah, yeah, are you might it's... get a job over me. That's disgusting, mate. That is bang out of order. That's that. always been the way, it's though. Like, yeah. Serious? It's, yeah, like, so, so you so think I'm like about, judging like, myself on how many followers I've got. Am I good enough because I ain't got that many followers or what? If you it's think about, you know, back in the day, you'd have had, I don't know, Gene Kelly and yeah. another Clint Eastwood. I don't know if they were acting at the same time. But they, they would go on things like reviews and stuff. Like you're saying, that's just another variable. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so what social media is allowed is just allow the another. production companies to have their metrics to hand. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Which is sad. Wild. I guess it's the way, you know, the ultimate goal of any TV company, production company, whatever, is to get bums on seats. Mm. And, and if is. you've got a million followers and Tomo's got 500,000, they go, well, even if half of Sam's followers oh, yeah, come. that's this. still the same so I see that number as how many people I can piss off <laughs> so, right, I've got this many people I can just fucking piss off whenever I want you're not that bad on, on no. social, I don't really right? use it much it's anymore down, but, no. oh my god mate yeah I, I yeah before we get yourself into any more trouble yeah um, let's wrap it up there because it's been a nice long chat we just sort of said that then when the sound went down and we did this little edit that it'll seem like we got carried away and didn't even notice that so Always yeah. a good like a good sign of a great conversation with. Yeah, and there were so many more other things that you wanted to speak about as well. So maybe we can get you back on. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, man. Come, man. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Nice, nice one. one, man. Another episode down. Done and dusted. Another lovely chat. Another week out of the way. Another week out of the way. Hope mm. you're all having a fantastic week. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, again, another lovely chat, and um, just nice to be. Doing the podcast, doing what we love doing, man. Yeah, it's nice to be together and it's nice to have it all sort of done professionally yeah. and comfortably. And yeah, and I think that's it's really showing with the guests that we're getting on at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, yeah, that the, the more that we can keep doing this, the more that we can provide for you listeners at home, yeah. um, the viewers that are watching on YouTube, uh, there is a way that you can support us um, if Andy would like to tell us. I will. Um, you can support us in many ways. Uh, one of the main ways being we do have a Patreon. 
uh, account if you can uh, go on there it's www.patreon.com forward slash overrated everything that just helps us to secure guests you know we want to be getting bigger and better guests from london and places like that down to the studio obviously that costs money um and for a small fee each month you guys can contribute towards that and You'll get rewarded as well. What kind of rewards will we get, Thomas Sturgis? Uh Well, it depends how much they're willing to spend. <laughs> um, no, we've got so much in store, haven't we? We've got like um, we've got we've got the lives coming up. We've got which lives. I know we've promised over the exciting. years. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can't wait for all that. Um, we've just got sort of behind the, the, the scenes exclusive footage that we're doing, and um, got some bonus podcasts as got well. Some bonus podcasts with ourselves and with some guests. Some of the and, guests. Yeah, just sort of. But I guess as the more it goes on, we'll just the more surprises that we'll drop. We want to have fun with it. We're creative people. We want to have fun with what we create. We want to make some nice content for you guys. Yes. Um, and keep that Patreon going over. But obviously, we ain't no fools. We know times can be hard for everyone, mm. and so if you can't subscribe to Patreon, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. What you can do if you love the podcast, um, is like, subscribe, share, mm. tell a mate as well. Yeah. Like everyone's used to just going share, share, share. Like actually sit in the pub or um wherever you're meeting with your mates and socialising in the gym. Yeah. And just go, hey, have you heard that podcast? It's pretty yeah. good, you know. Yeah, get it on, get it on or Spotify. Bam. play it really loudly when you're at a red light with the windows open. Play it really loudly at red lights. <laughs> Overrate everything. The best podcast to play really loudly at red lights. There you go. If that's illegal, we're going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs>